Thanks for joining us again on Extreme Outer Limits. This week, we're down in Nevada with Mossback Guides and Outfitters. We're in a premium unit and we're hunting bull elk. Now, if you guys have watched enough Extreme Outer Limits episodes, you know that elk drive me nuts. I mean, they really just do. I've, I've been on a lot of good elk hunts in a lot of different places, and it's just an ongoing quest for me. Um, I just really, really like hunting big, big bulls. Now, the unit that we're in uh, is known to have better age class and just an upper level of bulls in general, but it's not a gimme, and it doesn't mean that we're just going to you know, instantly smash a giant bull. We have a tag, we're in the unit, it could happen, but we've only got five days to hunt. So we're gonna hit the glass, we're gonna look at as much country as we can, and we're gonna just hope that these bulls get moving and that we can get our glass on a lot of bulls and try to find the biggest that we can find. So it should be an exciting episode, stay with us. Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. Quite a few elk there. Okay, I got a lone elk buried in these trees where you were saying. Uh, there's a little bit of a triangle in the rock. So there's a boulder patch, like a like a bluff. Oh yeah. I Lower see third, that. slightly right of center. Yeah. Go to the little diamond or little triangle of open rock. Kind of look to the left of it. To the left. You kind of down at rock. eight o'clock. Right up to go up out of the tip of it. White bull. There is a better bull right there down on the bottom of those cows. Can't tell what he is yet. And he's got giant fronts. God, I wish he'd lift his head up a little bit at a better angle. Pretty dark antlered. Oh, there you go. You can see his tops, huh? There's a seven, isn't it? I see him one to the other. What do I see him there? Well, guys, we're off to a hell of a good morning. We've got a a lot of elk spotted. It's a long look. Uh, Ty's doing his best to try to clear up our long range camera so you guys can see. But this far mountain, it's you know probably that two and a half to three mile distance from where we're at. Uh, there's a lot of elk over there and some of the bulls have pulled down low into these cedars. We've been on the glass for maybe an hour and a half or so. It is opening morning here in Nevada and uh, we're in one of the premium units, if not the best unit in the state. So. It's not a tag that you want to take too lightly, um, you know, but it is post rut, so some of these bulls are broken, things like that, but we kind of had a target bull in mind from Nate's scouting earlier, and we think we might have finally picked him up. Um, Ty actually running that long range camera was scanning a lot through the cedars and caught a leg and a butt walking in, so we stayed on that area, and sure enough, it materialized a really big frame bull. Um, just hang with us for a bit longer. We gotta get this bull out, let him turn his head for us a few times, and then we make a game plan. Nate's already been on the on X, and he's been trying to straight line. There's a couple different options. There's a split ridge in front of us that might put us going at him, or there's uh, 
the higher ridge up above them that we could maybe come around and look down on it. So we have a couple possibilities. I think we're gonna be pulling a longer shot today though. So let's see if he uh, pops out and get a better look at him. guys we finally got a clear view of them and like it can happen we put a few bigger measurements on our initial hope and when he got out in the clear we had to deduct a bit and he's a beautiful bull with all this being said but he's not a first day shooter bull he's awesome long beams that's probably the best thing he's got going for him but he's got short thirds and a short five put together pretty well everywhere else but just not a first morning bull for this area, so gonna let him slide and keep looking. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force 5 to 25 by 56 Enhanced ATAC R Rifle Scope. Features a lightning fast 30 minute per revolution zero stop turret, a 34 millimeter tube allowing for 120 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass producing brilliant images and exceptional color contrast. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range finder of choice. special. I knew it. Long, oh. Offhand shot. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I That'd didn't, be I didn't. If you free, even if you hit the damn thing with a
normal prone resting. Oh, we can do that. Just to the right. All right, ready? Yeah. Smacked it right in the center. A little mid-morning fun. Hate to admit it though. I missed the offhand. It's 1,346 yards to be exact. I missed the offhand a little right. Laid prone, smacked it dead in the center though. But uh, gun's working well. It's got the NX8 4 32 on it. Uh, this has got a game warden. This stock is actually um, not necessarily discontinued, but it's the old model. We've come out with a 2.0 now. Other than that, 23 inch spiral flute benchmark and a Trigger Tech diamond in it. And this thing rocks. It's just super systematic, 300 PRC. Just gets it done every time. But I really wanted to hit that thing offhand. So I don't know, maybe tomorrow we'll try again. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. Now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit the extremestore.us. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers. With the most advanced technology in the industry, Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber, will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. bigger body but the other time I'm like eh kind of both the same body like there's another fold or another draw yeah that they're is. going up and so if you don't if you don't circle around and commit to go high enough I don't know I wonder if a guy won't even see him looking back right we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get across canyon from him I think but I know it's kind of what it's I'm a thinking. long like it's a long shot <laughs> right above it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the look you get uh, of disbelief when you see an offhand shot at like a four inch dot at just under a thousand yards standing offhand. That's the look right there. Just. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we just shot at 960s offhand up there at that little black spot for fun. We're just having hot dogs and eating lunch. So we're just farting around looking for a little bragging rights. seen a lot of really nice bulls, but not exactly something that just gets me, you know, really excited. So fast forward to now, we're about halfway through the hunt and we finally are kind of ready to start making some moves. There's just nothing on that face. So we're now changing our strategy a little bit. We're going into the draws and hiking up to glassing points and 
just kind of pick one and hike and look and on and on this goes because the weather is so fair this year this whole season this whole 2021 season in the west has just been hot and dry these bulls really don't have any real reason to migrate and move out to the face yet we believe they're just still buried back here at least all the older bigger bulls were hoping so anyway long story short we're kind of in a rock shoot we're gonna get up we're just trying to get another 500 yards up here and uh should be enough elevation that we can look over this whole basin so well guys it was a no-go this evening we uh did a pretty steep rock climb up got a pretty good view but it was just a no-go uh we didn't have a lot of time to spend up there either it definitely with the time change is getting dark a little sooner so anyway we gave her hell we tried it was a good effort but we'll have to see where we decide to go and find a new spot to try that again tomorrow This segment is brought to you by The Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. Extreme Hunter Limits is also brought to you by The Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to extremehunterlimitstv.com. This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their extreme Extreme Series Actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA Actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. I mean, a 330 bowl, huh? Well, that's a better bowl, seen. wasn't it? Did you pack that bowl? Yeah, I think we should shoot it. Well, guys, we're getting deep in the hunt. We've been working our way up this cedar draw. There's a group of elk that just passed with a really nice, typical six point that didn't look broke up at all. Like, well enough, or a good enough bull, I think we ought to probably try to kill it. So, we're trying to figure out what to do here because the cedar flat's so thick, they went around. There. I just seen them. See them up there? Crossing through. Way up there. Cause they all just yep. took off running. Yep. He fell. Yep. He did, didn't he? Yeah, I think I think I watched his horns just fall right there. Seven seventies freehand on TV, people. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. But the funny thing is, I've been practicing the whole trip. Ah, 773 yards, big six point down. Solid work, dude. <laughs> ah, this makes me happy, guys. Great bull, great shot. Great equipment, great everything. <sighs> got him. You got him, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, man. That's a huge bull. Thanks for staying with us. And here is the result right here. We have been a little quiet on camera. We've been looking hard, big, long looks. So a lot of the elk footage is a long ways away, but it's your style of hunting, right? You like to open it up, look at every little piece you can. You got phenomenal eyes. That I mean, that's, that's basically how we got to hunt this, this type of country. There's no sense in actually walking up any of that. Well, like a hunt like this, this is a late hunt, guys. So 
as we kind of joke, we call it shuffling the deck. There's new bulls in these canyons. Maybe not the same, you know, canyon, but if you move two or three, right. all of a sudden you'll be like, hey, there was four bulls in there. There was nothing there yesterday. Right. Anyway, guys, it's been a blast. So Nevada, premium elk tag and a premium unit. Uh, great guys. Nate's done a great job for us. And, uh, you know, all joking aside, the equipment, the partners that are involved in the equipment, big thanks to Trigger Tech, Knight, Forrest Burger, obviously MOA, McMillan, everything it takes to put this stuff together, Rugged Ridge, uh, even though I didn't use a bipod. <laughs> I think it would have been a bit more uh, what, orthodox to have laid down and used the bipod, but let's face it, that was not gonna happen. And I've been practicing these offhand shots. So it, it was a little bit risky, but you know what? I felt confident in it. So whatever hate mail I get, I'll wear it. I don't care because here's the result. It was a one and done bull on the ground. And this is what you're looking at. This right. is a, anyway, guys, just thanks for staying with us on the episode. Nice giant bull down. We're going to work him up, get him off the mountain. And next week you'll see us on another hunt. Extreme Outer Limits, brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. And also brought to you by...